Right, hello everyone, and welcome to another MCOC video. I have got Captain Marvel ranked up to rank 3. As you can see right there, she's my second strongest character in the entire game. So, I'm pretty happy about that, thanks to the, um, the squirrel store thing. I managed to get enough tier 4 basic, as you can see they're all gone now. And uh, I managed to get enough alpha uh, tier 1 catalyst. Um, which again, I just like depleted to two, so I'm quite lucky that came in. So I've got a rank three five star Captain Marvel MCU, which I will be using in today's video. And um, so what we're doing is carrying on with the uncollected event quest completion, initial completion. Um, I got um, Silver Surfer in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, check it out on my channel. Um, it wasn't the best opening, just to give a little bit of a summary, but, um, what's going on here, is this, uh, wait, yeah, right, sorry, um, so yeah, it wasn't the best opening, uh, we didn't get any 5 stars, got a couple of 4 stars, 4 star Wolverine, um, 4 star Spider Gwen, and we got 3 star Silver Surfer, which was the best part of the opening, um, which I haven't been able to max out because I need one tier 2 Cosmic Catalyst, which is ridiculous. But anyway, that's what I needed. So hopefully in Master, I should be able to use Silver Surfer as much as I can. Um, hopefully I have him maxed out by then. I said I was going to use magic for this one. So hopefully I'll have um, Silver Surfer matched out as a 3 star by then. Uh, I don't have him awakened because I don't have an awakening gem. Which is... I don't know. I, I don't know what his awakened ability does. So I can't really feel a loss there. Can't lose what you don't have in the first place, can you really? Right. Oh, lovely. Right. I'll tell you what. Before I do that... There you go. Wait, hang on. What the hell? Oh, okay. Technically, even though Magic is the champion of the universe, she should be pretty good for this matchup, no? Because, like, the special three would just wipe him out. Mind you, she's strong enough anyway. I think the special two will do it. Wow! Okay. Thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it was. Also, throughout the rest of this video, I kind of want to try Captain Marvel again. Uh, hopefully, there's no Nick Furies that I come up against that are, you know, right at the beginning. So, I've got to get warmed up first. So, these two fights are to warm me up. Right, Ghost, um, Mighty Charge Ghost. Start with the champion, and then go with Magic, and then Gwenpool last. I'm just reluctant to use Gwenpool, because whenever she does her phasing, she converts it to Fury, and then if she gets a crit and hits me and I fail, then uh, it won't be a fun time. So, hopefully the champion does it first time. She doesn't have great health, so... Technically, I shouldn't need to regenerate. Oh, what's going on? Why am I taking damage back? Okay. This is not exactly how I planned it. Okay, that is... We'll just ignore the damage back, shall we? Sorry about that. The um, video cut off for some reason, but I managed to pause it just in time for a special one and die. That is absolutely... I mean, that's just great, isn't it? That's just perfect. Yeah. 
it's weird because it has no reason to cut out. Everything's plugged in. Everything's like working a hundred percent. So. <sighs> Oh, I should have looked at the nose, um, that strike back. It's not as bad as, like, Electro's damage back, where you just take, like, ridiculous amounts of damage. So, hopefully I should be able to do this. Um, oh, that was my class. <laughs> okay. Special 2? That'll do it, right? Plus I got Limbo. Yeah. Oh yeah, and if I have Limbo while she's got her mi mighty charge, it won't do anything. Well, well barely. Do yeah, perfect. Okay, magic's a pretty good counter. I'll tell you what, I'll check in uh, Master when we get there. I'll check and see what that node is, if it is on Master. If that no if that particular node is on master. How many six star shells do I have now? Six thousand nine hundred. And nowhere near six star ah, almost halfway actually. Which I'm surprised about. Right, who's the boss in this one? I'm just gonna check the boss and then I'm gonna change the team. And some move as well. Agent Venom, lovely. Magneto, I could get back to the special two. Okay, come on. I'm definitely keeping magic in the team. That's for sure. Um, Fury abilities have 40%. Sorry. For, Fury abilities are 40% more effective. Uh, opportunist, bubble shield. That might be a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, that might be a little bit of a problem. Long distance relationship. <laughs> this is like. The, that. That is a really annoying node. I can't even express how annoying that node is. So, I think I'm just going to put Captain Marvel in place of um, the champion. Yeah. Just because Gwenpool might be good for the long distance node. Because I don't think it affects damage over time. Well, I hope it doesn't affect damage over time, otherwise I'm screwed. Mind you, Captain Marvel's got more damage now. Because I ranked her up and everything, so... Right, let's start. <sighs> Why does it have to be Agent Venom? Who am I going to use for Agent Venom? Magic, probably. She's got enough damage. But let's use... Captain Marvel for Drax. It's getting a little bit harder now. We're on the second chapter, and I think if I do run out of energy, I might use energy refills, depending on how long this video takes. I apologise for the noise outside, by the way. 
Yeah, my little sister's tired. And she's ready when she's tired, so there you go. This is not going to be a fun fight. This is not going to be fun. Mind you, if Agent Venom was a boss, oh bloody hell. If next month Agent Venom is a boss with nodes, I just can't. <laughs> I can't deal with that. Mentally, I'll just look at it and like, crumble. Oh yeah, we've got the Fury Boost because of the synergy. Does that mean we have more attack like, throughout the whole fight? If so, that's pretty awesome. half bad actually. I think the Limbo, the Limbo doesn't do too much damage but I think it starts to scale when uh, you start doing actual hits and stuff. It starts to scale there. Right, Magneto. Uh... Captain Marvel, yep. Yeah. Can't believe I got a 5 star rank for Captain Marvel MCU. That's mad. I just can't. Like, um... I think I have a 3 star. She's pretty good when I use her in Arena, but... She's a lot better in quests. I think you agree. Right, if I do that... And then... I forgot that was on my board, so I'll do that. Yep. Yep. There you go. How many hits was that? 13, wow. Don't worry about Wi-Fi issues. Just, you know, take your time. <sighs> What's going on? Okay, this is weird. What? What the hell's going on? Again, that was under 20 years, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. 13. She's going through it a lot quicker. I think when she was ranked 2, it would take her like 20 odd hits. Maybe 30. But it's uh, gone down to the teens now. It's pretty good. I want to see how uh, Magic and Captain Marvel do against this, this, one, this month's bosses. I think magic would be quite good for Nova, just because a special three would just get rid of the uh, Furies. But I don't know about Captain Marvel. Who would she be useful against? 
Actually, she's pretty much useful against everyone, so... Yeah. I suppose. Right. I wish the special two didn't push you back as much. Because you have to like, you have to go in first, and if you didn't have to go in, then um, I think you'd be able to get three heavies off. But it would make the animation look a bit weird, because she is technically flying away. But, I don't know, increased situation of the, of the stun? I mean, two, don't get me wrong, two heavies is good, but... I don't know. Three heavies seems a bit more of like, a better number. <laughs> Right. I've just got to watch out for Phoenix's um, Right of the Phoenix, I think you call it. The uh, Awakened Ability. Um, I was wondering whether I should do Special 2, uh, Special 3 sorry, but I don't think there's any need to. I like the, the fact that it's so swift. The heavy attack is just one hit and then that's it. And it does so much damage as well. Especially if you crit. Okay, I think we're on the boss now. Bloody hell, I'm 23 energy already. Yeah, energy refills. I think I don't need to use energy refills. Which isn't a problem to be fair. Right. Not on the nose. Enhanced Fury, opportunist, opportunist, Double Shield, Debilitate. I think Long Distance Relationship is going to be the worst one. It'd be interesting if, like, you know Nick Fury's second life and he's immune to, like, pretty much all non-damaging debuffs? I don't know if she has that with the binary form, but that would be quite useful if she doesn't. Special two should push me back, right? Uh, just do as much damage. <laughs> I just realised I got him to special three. Come on. Right. See? Oh, I missed that. Okay. If I had the awakened ability, she'd be able to tank this properly. Oh. Oh. Could have done that. I think I could have done that. Like, I don't know. Straight after the special three, just do a special one. Because it's unblockable as well. Um. <laughs> I could have done that. Wow. Right. Does he start off with a power game? It does. And it's, wow, it's bloody strong. Uh, special one spam, I think. Yeah, I mean it does a little bit of damage. Yeah, I just realised Hyperion is probably not the best one we want to try and do a backdraft with. Just because of the power game, you just get to a special when you're dodging back. But there you go, that's the third boss down. It wasn't too bad, I suppose. I mean, I could have one-shot that. Had I not, you know, messed up so bad. But yeah, okay, that wasn't bad. Right, who's on the next one? It is... Really? Iceman? <laughs> okay. Whenever this champion will receive the debuff they're immune to... Okay, so Gwen pulls out the question. Uh, more aggressive. That might benefit me, I don't know. Charge every 15 seconds if they get a power gain. Magic's looking more and more of a solution to this. All special attacks are unblockable. Bloody hell. Brute Force! 
Well, at least they're more aggressive. If they're more aggressive, then it's easier to parry and go in, right? It should be. And every two seconds on the timer, gain a fury passive. Unless they're hit. Okay. Um, is there anyone I have that's incinerating me in? Mephisto's incinerating me in, but he's only 3,000. So, I could bring an Ultron. Not incinerating me in. Cold Snap, I mean. Uh, yeah, because like the cold snap would bring Ultron down to 50% and assuming I'm just around there and then I'd just regenerate it back, wouldn't I? And then Captain Marvel magic should, could just go through the rest. Yeah. No, wait, no. Ultron. Ghost is looking pretty good for this, actually. I just thought about that. Yeah, Ghost is look. Yeah. Because because she's duplicated, she starts off with the um, phasing. So, uh, we'll just convert it to Fury straight away. And these synergies, if you don't know, grants um, Ghost, well, the one with Ant-Man, uh, grants her a 15% attack uh, buff for each buff on, the, on Ghost. So basically, Every time you get cruelty, I think you get like, what's that? It's like a maximum of five stacks. So that is, what is that? It's got to be like 75%, I think. Plus 75% attack at maximum. And then you've obviously got the Furies, which, you, which I think aren't limited. But if you have like two Furies on top of that, you'd have like another hundred and something attack. It's just, that's really good. And then you got the wasp synergy uh, uh, wasp synergy, if I can speak. Um, which just makes your special attacks unblockable. Um, and the hood um, allows you to take no damage whilst phasing, so you could like tank special threes and stuff and um, try and phase if you're um, Taking like shock damage, like the passive shock on EMP modification, it doesn't really work that well because obviously the phasing doesn't last as long. It doesn't convert it to fury, so you just end up taking damage once the phasing runs out. So, okay. Which which one is it? <laughs> I'm definitely not going on a Mephisto one, or am I? Am I going on a Mephisto one? Is there one without an ad? Yes. Right. Okay, so that's. Ah, right. So I want to go this way. Um, how long do I want to make this? Thirty and a bit minutes. Yeah, thirty-two minutes. Around there. Right, Captain Marvel needs to ramp up her binary charges, and then I think I'll just save her for Iceman. Because she's got the armor break, so that will completely counter the ice armor. I've just got to not get hit <laughs> by the special attacks, which is a lot to ask for, to be fair. They're 10,000s now. I thought it was going to evade that. How come he didn't evade it? Hmm. Or is that the other... Oh, is that Netflix there that evades um, range specials? It might be. Yeah, I don't need any more special ones.
She would do that much damage on a special toy. Wow, okay. There you go. 82! Oh, yeah, first fight's the worst fight. Forgot, yeah. I was gonna say, how is she doing 82 hits on a daredevil? But, yeah, okay. Should I just use Ghost for the rest of. Oh. I uh, did not realise there was Modoc. I should have looked. <laughs> wow, there's not many champions on this path actually. Because I think it's just this lot and then Iceman. No, I don't. Um, if I look up. She avoids. She, on her critical hit, she avoids miss and evade. Does she avoid? No, she doesn't. I don't think she does, no. Modoc could be a bit of a problem. But... Oh, let's just use her at the moment. Modoc, I think I'm just going to have to use Captain Marvel and hope that he's not too awkward. I mean, I've got the binary ignition and I'll probably be doing a lot of heavy attacks. Well. There you go. And that is how you use Ghost. pretty good team actually. Ghost and Captain Marvel. I'm just trying to think of a counter. Probably I'll tell you it's a good counter for Ghost. Vision Arcus is just like I think just it's got to be the best counter. Silver Surfer as well I suppose but Vision Arcus is like because he's got the Furies. Uh, not the Furies. The um, Armor Breaks. That's it. And they're like permanent when you're close to the the enemy? The opponent? Actually, no. Oh, no, yeah. I was going to say, because of the phasing, it would just convert the cold snap into a fury. But because the armor breaks there, she can't phase and she doesn't have much health, so she just die from cold snap. Oh, didn't think about that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was a lot of damage. One, two, and I can't get that one. Oh, okay. That was lucky. That was not as lucky. Come on. Is this gonna... Really? The armor break had to run out. I would've given that. I could've saved a couple charges, but hey. I think that was 19 hits, so that wasn't too bad. I did take a special one to the face, though. So. But I avoided the special two, so... Not too bad. Yep. I've noticed... I don't want to jinx it, but... I've noticed you don't get that many ambushes anymore. You used to get ambushes, like, left, right and centre. Oh my god, this is the perfect matchup. I just realised... If I get her to keep doing the special one, I'll just get loads of fury. I just realised that. Holy... Yeah, I just realised that. Wow. That's a pretty good interaction, actually. Oh, she nullifies it, lovely. That's, that's just perfect, isn't it? 
Why did I block it? Why, why am I taking hits? Why? What? What I mean, there you go. I'm on 50% health now. Because for some reason I blocked the special one and took like three hits. Just don't question it. We don't question it. <laughs> Mm. Alright, that is not how you use ghosts, by the way. Like my hands must have malfunctioned there or something. Okay. Right, so... Energy refill. And then I'm going to split this video into two parts. Yeah, okay. I might be able to get some health back. If Ghost had regeneration, yeah, she could have a passive regeneration while she's phasing. That would just make her even more, like, ridiculous. She had a passive regeneration whilst phasing and could shrug off non damaging debuffs, then there'll be nothing to stop her from healing. That would be sick. I just thought about that. Okay. Really? No cruelty throughout the amount of hits I did? Okay. Yeah, you do that. I swear, 6 star was awesome. If that's my first 6 star, I'd be pretty happy. I'd be pretty happy with that. Right. That was really lucky, I shouldn't have done that. Usually, you don't go straight in after a special three, but, but I decided to do it there, it would be risky, and it worked, so. 38 hits, that was a bit more. But, I didn't have good RNG on the uh, cruelty stacks, so, yeah. And also, every time you get a buff, you're not, you, you should notice um, an increase in attack. Uh, do I want to use Captain Marvel just to ramp her up? I think I do. Yeah, because if I use... Uh, yeah, because if I use Captain Marvel and she's a bit higher than 10 uh, binary charges, then she should be a bit better for Iceman. Right. Yeah, I forgot about you start with the next bar power or whatever. It's not bar power, is it? It's like 70% of the bar power. Could have absorbed that. Okay. Actually, I'd rather not take the block damage. Just because I've got Ice Man to try and get down after this. Right. This should not, and I repeat, should not, oh wait, I was going to say this should not get into a special three, but seems like it would do enough damage. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm on like 23 steps of binary charge now. Yeah, not bad. Right, I'm going to do Iceman and then I'm going to cut off the video. Stop the video there. Right. Go there. That was a really short part, actually. Usually they're like 10 tiles long and there's like 10 parts, but this one's a bit shorter. Right. 
mind you, this boss is like a lot more difficult than the others. Um, actually, no, I suppose Hyperion would be. Yeah, Hyperion would be a bit of a problem, but. Oh, I start. I got on 25. Where did I get 24 from? Does a special. Does a special 3, like, give you charges? Maybe I haven't read something properly. I don't know. Oh, it just completely shocks it off. Well, that is absolutely perfect. Why is it going off so quickly, though? That's my question. Come on. Come on. I'm dead. I think. I think I'm dead. Not yet. Oh no, I'm, yeah. Hey, that wasn't bad. That was not bad. Right, I gotta watch out for that power game. I've really gotta watch out for that power game. Because... He could just get to a special 3 straight away. Um, actually, no. I can tank a special 3, can't I? Thanks for the hood. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, maybe this won't be so much of a problem. An unblockable specials doesn't really matter either. Right. Got my hand. Thank you very much. Is this malicious? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, Ghost is the perfect matchup for Iceman. I mean, he was on 50% health, but. You know. You could do that easily with the Ghost, and um, with Ghost and her synergies. Right. That is the second chapter done. That was pretty good. Right. So I'm going to end the video here, um, if you like this video, press the like button, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll uh, we'll see you in the next video, bye bye.